What's up, guys? Aaron J. Dago to talk about when we should forgive someone, or in other words, how often we should forgive people for hurting us. Like, what if it's the same person over and over who's continuing to do you wrong? Should we forgive them once, but then no longer forgive them again? Or are we supposed to forgive people who apologize when they apologize, but not forgive people who don't apologize? Like, how do we make sense of all this? Well, that's what we'll talk about in this video. In fact, there's actually four concepts of timing about when we should forgive people. And since we're talking about timing, I couldn't help but notice it's about time for us to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And with that support, guys, thank you so much. And let's go ahead and jump right into the first concept about when we should forgive people. And that is we should do it for others as often as we hope to get it ourselves. You see in Matthew 7, 2, it says, for you will be treated as you treat others. The standard you use in judging is the standard by which you will be judged. So we actually have the freedom to decide for God how often he is going to forgive us. The way we do that is by showing him what standard we're going to use on other people. So if we want him to forgive us only when we repent for what we've done, then we forgive others only when they apologize to us. But if on the other hand, we hope that he forgives us for the things we don't even realize we're doing, then we'll need to forgive others for doing things even when they don't acknowledge it. If we want him to forgive us the first time we do something wrong, but not the second time, then there's a simple formula for that. We forgive people when they do us wrong once, but not when they do us wrong twice. The basic concept here is that we forgive others as often and as freely as we want God to do for us. Now the second concept the Bible teaches about how often we should forgive each other is actually always. It's in Colossians 3.13 which says make allowance for each other's faults and forgive anyone who offends you. Remember the Lord forgave you so you must forgive others. Now there's two interesting things about this verse I want to talk about. The first is from the last part of the verse which says that God forgave us so we should forgive others. Remember that standard we talked about in the first point where it's we get forgiven as much as we forgive others? Well, God is saying, I'm forgiving you always, and so I want you to do the same. That is the standard God wants to use. However, we can change that standard by applying it differently to other people, in which case God will then apply it differently to us. But set to default, God is telling us, I want you to freely forgive because that is the standard I would like to use with you. Now, the second interesting point about this verse is from the first part, which says, make allowance for each other's faults. That basically means to come up with excuses as to why people do us wrong. Now, it doesn't mean the type of excuse as, oh, they did that on purpose, or oh, they don't like me because my breath stinks. It's actually telling us to come up with reasons why, saying, you know what, they didn't really mean it that way, or oh, they meant to post something else, but it was a typo. It is actually a command for us to overlook the wrongdoing of other people. And so applying that to our lives, we can then extract the idea idea that God intends for us to always forgive each other. The third concept about when we should forgive people is actually every time someone does us wrong, which closely links to the second point we just talked about. But on this one, however, we're specifically speaking about people who purposely did us dirty. But check out what the Bible has to say about it. In Ephesians 5, 1, it tells us that we're supposed to be like God. Now in 1 John 4, 8, it says that God is love. And in 1 Corinthians 13, 5, it says that love keeps no record of being wrong. So in other words, God is love and love keeps no track record of when people do it dirty. And we are supposed to be like God, therefore acting in love, which means we're not supposed to keep a track record of what people do us. So how often do we forgive each other? As often as we wrong one another. Now the fourth concept of when we forgive each other is actually a number. It is infinity. You see, one day Peter goes up to Jesus and says, yo dog, How many times I'm supposed to forgive somebody who does me dirty? Like seven times, yo? And Jesus is like, nah, homie, not seven times seven times 70. Now we have to understand that Peter was not educated and he didn't have his iPhone to simply pull out and type in the calculator what seven times 70 meant. Now we both know that seven times 70 is 94, but Peter wasn't as intelligent as us, so he didn't know that. He couldn't multiply those two numbers. What Jesus was implying to him was Peter, quit keeping count. It doesn't matter how many times, it doesn't matter if it's the same person, infinite amount of times, just 
forgive them. So thank you so much for watching. I hope I've added value to you through this video. And if you don't mind liking it, if you haven't done so already, it helps the channel so much. Also be sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications bell so you never miss the next video. And in the meantime, if you'd like more content, I'll link my books in the description below. You can click the link, browse what's available and grab the one that would be the most inspiring to you. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.